today we're going to work on an all sky camera. Um, what I've done is I've actually already set this up and tested it for a couple of nights. Um, it's based on a Raspberry Pi. Um, I've also got the power over ethernet hat on top which uh, allows me to power it uh, from ethernet so I don't need to, to run any power to the Arduino uh, sorry the Raspberry Pi um, and I use the USB port to talk to the camera so this camera is a ZWO ASI 120MC S, which is the USB 3 um, camera. Uh, it's a color one shot camera, uh, 1280 by 960 resolution. Um, so I've been testing out the software, I've installed the, uh, the project, which I'll put a link to. Um, uh, it works really well, um, with the exception of the dome uh, this is just a cheapy security camera dome I, I it's all actually scratched up quite badly um, it was uh, from where I work where we retro where we refitted the security system and so these were the old camera housings and we got rid of them and there's a couple of these lying around uh, in the junk pile at work um, I'm getting a replacement for this um, primarily because it's scratched up but also it doesn't really um, do the job very well so what I had done is I, I sort of just cut out um, here and on the edge to, to get just the USB port uh, hooked up um, which was okay it just meant I could run one single wire out from the observatory um, which was good, but the amount of dew that's been happening over the last couple of nights has just meant that it becomes completely, um, uh, well, not completely opaque, but so much so that you can't actually see anything. Actually, kind of decent, but already you can see the started to be a problem now I implemented some new darks at this point during the night um, but again the condensation just was a massive problem um, as you can see that this is uh, I think Jupiter and Saturn uh, sort of close-ish to each other um, and <laughs> that's really a bit of a mess um, and here comes the moon and quickly followed by some daylight. So part of why I've brought it back in is to just change tack a little. So instead of running a USB cable out from the observatory where the Raspberry Pi is, um, I'm going to change this up um, and remove that from the equation. I'm going to use just the plastic dome. Now this one here is, um, uh, how big is this? This is in inches. This, uh, yeah, 3.2 ish inch dome. Um, I've ordered a 5 inch dome and a 6 inch dome um, off Amazon um, to give me a little bit more coverage uh, but the other side of this is because this kicks out uh, a fair bit of heat what I'm going to do is mount this in a project box underneath uh, I'm going to have the camera sort of just poke through the project box at sort of around there um, at which point the rest of the camera is inside the box and I intend to also just put some uh, slits in the box uh, so the heat 
from uh, the Raspberry Pi can sort of come up into the dome uh, and keep it a bit warmer. Now, CPU temperatures that this reports uh, is about 50 degrees Celsius. Um, now that's the CPU temperature, so uh, the fan does seem to run a fair bit on this. This is a Raspberry Pi 4, um, so it has got a fair bit more grunt than the older ones, so it also does kick out a lot more heat. Um, I'm hoping that as a result of the heat that comes out of this, um, that uh, that should provide sufficient warmth in here to, uh, to mitigate some of the dew situation. So the current plan is I've got a project box. This is kind of large. Um, it's about seven inches or, well, hang on, let me just, uh, 19 and a half centimeters square. Um, so a six inch dome, even as the bigger version of, of what I have here should still uh, encompass this entire area and I can, I can seal around the top of it. Um, I don't really need that metal plate in there, but I'm just gonna leave it in there for now. Um, so I'll run that in there, probably in, at least in this plastic case or part of a plastic case, just to keep all of the, uh, the components uh, off, the, uh, uh, off the metal. Uh, but that will live in there. Uh, and I will drill a hole in the side somewhere uh, and I will put one of these glands through um, and run an ethernet cable uh, through. So uh, this is a 15 meter long ethernet cable, which means I can place this just about anywhere uh, around near the observatory. So as a first effort here, I'm gonna measure up the center of here. Um, I'll pop this down. I'll probably just seal it um, temporarily um, uh, until the new dome uh, plastic dome arrives. Uh, it doesn't really matter what I do here just other than aesthetics because the size of the hole that I'm going to cut in here is tied to the size of the camera. Um, so that will be, uh, that, that won't make any difference uh, other than maybe a little bit of a mess here, but I can just put some silicon around here. Uh, at this point the um, the domes uh, with the COVID situation might not come for months. So um, we'll have to wait for that. So the plan will be mount this through the hole. The USB will just run down on a short cable uh, into the box. Um, and I can monitor everything in here as well. 